This video took a lot out of me, but I'm finally pleased to present the definitive way to play Sonic Heroes on the Steam Deck. Okay, so here we are we're at the desktop and you should have your disc one and disc two ISOs. I'm not gonna tell you where to get them. Google is your friend. More specifically, you're gonna need the uh, DRM free one, which can be found in the Sonic PC collection. So, you know, there's your hint. You wanna go to the Discover Store and download Lutris. Lutris is what we're gonna be using to sort of run this entire operation. Um, we're not gonna be using Proton Tricks or Wine Tricks this time um, because it's much easier. Now, how do you mount an ISO? Uh, you can see on the right click menu there isn't an option. You are going to have to go into the console and then type these following commands. So you're going to make two directories, one called uh, ISO and one called ISO2. doesn't matter what they're called. So you can do this by doing sudo mkdir slash mnt slash iso and then you put your admin password. I, ha I have already created these, uh, so that's why it says file exists. Then you want to do sudo mount and then dash o and then put the path to your iso so do the first one you right click copy location and you paste that in and then you put mnt slash iso and then you want to do the same thing for disk two so go over and replace the two and then do iso two and that is how you mount those two ISO images. Now, you might have noticed on the terminal that you mount as read-only volumes. What we're going to do, we're going to create two new folders. I'm going to delete these two that I created earlier. Uh, they are empty. And I'm just going to name them Heroes Disk 1 and then Heroes Disk 2. And then what we're going to do, we're going to copy those all of the files from Disk 1 and pop them on the, um, the first sort of folder. And then we're going to grab the disk two files and do the same thing. Now, obviously, because we mount it as a read only volume, we can't interact with it. So that's why we're copying the files off of the disk. So once you've done that, you do not need that those uh, ISO images anymore. You can extract, do you extract them, eject them. Sorry. You want to go and open up Lutris now. And um, when you open it up, it will do a first time setup. Wait until it's all done. And what you want to do, you click the add button and then search for Sonic Heroes. And then you want to pick the second option. And this is where it gets interesting. So you have the two CD method, which is the one we're going to use. You also have the installer method. Uh, I haven't actually tested that out, but um, it, it didn't work for me. So what you want to do, you're going to navigate to your setup exe on the disk one. And it will then begin to set up the sort of like wine environment that you're going to be using to install Sonic Heroes. Uh, this will take a little bit, so don't panic if it freezes or anything. It will then launch the installer and then you just go through the install as normal. Click the full option, make note of the path and then click start installation. Now this may seem familiar to the Sonic Heroes Definitive Edition on how to install it and all that. And it is, except there's one deviation and you'll see that in a minute. Um, because of how we're running this, we're running this through Lutris and then we're running it through Wine, uh, it doesn't really pick up on the fact that this is a two disc install. Um, I'll show you in a little bit when it gets to it. So as you can see, it says, please insert disc two into the CD drive. Try as we might, we just get errors in Lutris. I'll show you now. It just says read access denied. So we're going to do the rest of the install manually. So what we're going to do, we're going to close this installer. Make sure you close it like I did. It will say installation completed. Then you want to right click and then click play. Now this will play the game and you can configure it how you want. I'm just going to run it in a window real quick, just so I can easily exit out. Um, because what you need to do is you need to run it at least once. Now when you do run it, you will notice that there's a distinct lack of music. Uh, don't panic. Uh, just quit out the game. Then what you want to do, you want to right click and then browse files. And then you want to enter the C drive, program files, Sega, Sonic Heroes, and then copy over the contents from disk two into that folder and then merge any conflicts. So 
you can see I've got a few conflicts. You just click right into apply all, and then that is it. Now relaunch the game and you should have fully working sound. It's just a little caveat that you have to do, we just have to complete the installation manually. So if I click play game, you can then start to hear the sound kick in, which is all nice and good. That is what we want. And we have to run it at least once to sort of like generate the files and make sure it works. And that's it, you're done. But if you want mods, then stick around because I'm going to tell you how to do that because that's just a vanilla game. Mods go into a little bit of a tricky territory. So this is your warning for that. And this is why the video took so long to come out. Holy macaroni. These took me out of it for so long. It took me long enough to work out how to install Sonic Heroes on the Steam Deck. Because every guide out there is outdated and mods make the whole thing worse, which is why in this game clip, you may notice that there is no music, only sound effect. What is going on? I'm gonna have to put an asterisk on the Definitive Edition. For whatever reason, as soon as you install mods, you lose all game sound. Sound effects are the only thing that play. You lose all game sound. I don't know what causes it, but if you wanna stick along this route, then feel free to try the wrong ahead. If you know how to fix the issue, please let me know, because for the past couple of months, this has been annoying me. <laughs> and there is no fix in sight for what I can research. So, without further ado, good luck, brave adventurer. Next up, we're going to be reinstalling Reloaded 2. So, Reloaded is our mod manager of choice. You want to go to the internet and type in Reloaded 2. Okay, my Firefox is apparently not my default browser. Uh, Reloaded 2. And you want to grab the latest release, uh, so on GitHub if you scroll down. We're going to grab the zip file, um, not the exe, because it's a lot simpler to work with on Linux, I find it to be anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so download the release.zip, and then what you want to do is you want to create a new folder in the Sonic Heroes directory just called Reloaded, with a capital R, and then you want to extract the contents of that zip file into that folder. So I'm going to extract archive here and I'm just going to copy the files over just so I don't mess anything up. So select everything and then move them over to the reloaded folder or copy them up to you, it doesn't matter. Now you got reloaded in the Sonic Heroes directory. What you want to do now is you want to install all the prerequisites. So um, You'll need four things. You'll need visual, uh, it's like VC redistributable, 64 bit, uh, 86, x86. Uh, there's, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, you also need .NET 8 for 64 and 32 bit as well. So I'm gonna send, I'm sending myself those links over from my uh, other monitor. Um, so if you click them, they should just download. Um, so there's the VC redistributables. Um, I'm tr I was trying to think what VC stood for, but um, yeah. Um, and then you want to get the .NET 8 release, um, which is the latest at the time of this video. Um, it's not the very latest, but you want to download the LTS version. So you see how it says latest long-term support? That's the one you need to download. And you want to go down to the .NET desktop runtime you want to download both the x84 and the x86 versions of those. Those are going to start downloading the background, uh, but what we can do in the meantime is install them. So down here, there's a little drop down menu. You want to click run exe inside wine prefix, and you want to click on each of these and install them. And just go through the installation, click agree. Um, it's not too hard to do. Um, so I'm going to download the, or the oh, sorry, install the 32-bit version now. And there we go. Grab the .NET runtime. I'm going to do the 64-bit version. And then install. These are super simple installers. You just click one button and then they're done. And then finally the x86. And then install that. 
and then we are good to go. Then finally, you want to run exe inside Wyman prefix once more, and then go to reload it where you extracted it earlier. So program files, Sega, Sonic Heroes, reload it, and you're looking for reloaded2.exe. Uh, don't run the 32-bit version, you're going to have a bad time. Um, there's no need to uh, run the 32-bit version. So we'll keep up, up with the tutorial. You just want to follow that. So click add application. It will download the, the mods, um, like the directory listing of them. You want to go and find the T Sonic Win. There we go. And then you can skip the rest of the tutorial if you want. I uh, just go next for it. And then this is how you install your mods. Um, when installing mods, uh, be careful because it is not the same way you would do it on Windows. So I'm going to install the uh, widescreen mod uh, because who loves a little bit of widescreen by Rayful Drew Holton. And he actually commented on my uh, definitive edition for Sonic Heroes with a handy dandy little mod sort of like a uh, repository uh, where there's like all of them bunched together. So I may go back and make another video. And I did update the pinned comment, but that is a very easy way of doing things now. Um, obviously on Linux, we have to do it this way because it's a little bit E, but yeah. So there we go. It's going to download all the uh, necessary um, other mods that we need. And then we should be good to go. So, what you want to do next, this is very important. You want to go to Sonic Heroes, you want to enable all the mods that you want. Then you want to go to Edit Application, scroll down, Advanced Tools and Options, and deploy the ASL Loader. Now, you won't see anything. Uh, this is fine, don't worry about it. It just doesn't render correctly. You also want to click Don't Inject Loader. Now, if you try and launch the application, the reason why we deployed the ASL loader is because we're losing Reloaded inside of Wine. You can read the whole thing here. Uh, there's a little wiki page where you can have a look and go into technicalities about it. So back in Reloaded, you want to make sure the ASL loader has been deployed. Make sure you tick Don't Inject Loader. I don't have it ticked. Big mistake there. Uh, Auto Inject should be on or off, depending. Then what you want to do, you want to go to your Wine configuration in Lutris. And then you want to go to the Libraries tab and you want to add dsound.dll. It should be in the list here. Um, if I can find it. Um, or somewhere here. No, it's further down. dsound, there we go. You want to click Add, then click Apply, and then you should be good to go on launching mods. Hex edits. Since I made my video, someone has made a fixed compilation, so you don't need to do any hex editing. Simply just download this link in the description, the fixed compilation, and then you're good to go. You just patch it with this little site here, the ROM patcher.js. I'll get back to that in a minute. Hey, what you want to do is extract this, and you should get two folders, the DVD root and the tsonicwin.bps. Going over to the ROM patcher, you want a ROM file, you want to select the tsonicwin.exe patch file you want to select the tsonicwin.bps which you downloaded and it should be a green check mark that's how you know it is the correct version of sonic heroes you want to grab the patch version and then replace the tsonic win uh, in the game directory so if you forget where it is it's under games sonic heroes drive c program files sega sonic heroes and then tsonic win should be in there. What I recommend doing is creating a backup. So I'm going to rename this original one. I'm going to change the extension to back for backup and then get rid of the patch little thing there. And then you should be good to go. Uh, you might need to relink everything in uh, Reloaded 2. Um, then all you do is just copy the DVD root folder over, apply to all, right into it, replace everything, and then you should be good to go. And that is basically all the hex edits in one simple file. It's pretty cool. Once you got all your mods, once you got all your hex edits, launch the game and you should be good. Go. So yeah, this is the definitive way to play Sonic Heroes on the Steam Deck. 
There is a lot less change since my last video, so I'm thinking of maybe redoing it for PC too. But there is just a lot of issues with this one, and I didn't want to have to delay the video any longer. So here it is, as it is currently standing as of like April the 1st, or say 2nd. Um, I then took two days to record and edit it a bit, but the research goes back to the start of this year. It's been kind of crazy. Uh, I started working on this right after the uh, Sonic Adventure Steam Deck video. But if you do know any solutions to any of the problems, uh, feel free. Uh, I've tried uh, Proton, I've tried um, various versions of G. Still, just, I don't know. But I, I, I hate having a half-baked experience, but this is literally the best I could do. Next up, Sonic Riders for PC, and then we'll do the Steam Deck version. Um, and hopefully we move on from this mess uh, because apparently Sonic Heroes is getting a remake so you know maybe there will be a new definitive edition of Sonic Heroes coming up so thank you guys for watching sorry it took so long and enjoy playing Sonic Heroes probably goodbye